Hey everybody, how are you? It's Jeff Gelman of Solid Canine Training with my What Would Jeff Do Dog Training Tip of the Day. Tip number 33, proper punishment. There's actually something called proper punishment. How to properly, how to properly punish your dog. The reason why I wanna do a, a, a tip on this in, in other videos or in a longer format video, we can talk about like how to actually do the punishment, but I talk about punishment a lot. Keep in mind, in our training center, I would say 90% of the time we're doing rewards. We do a lot of reward-based training. But to stop an unwanted behavior, we're always doing punishment. People are always saying, well, how do you punish a dog? Do you yell at it? Do you scream at it? Do you put it in its crates? Like, what do you do? So, what we do to punish a dog is there has to be something intolerable to the dog. So, it's a consequence that's intolerable. Um, it's used to stop an unwanted behavior. It's used to stop a dangerous behavior. Without punishment, you're not going to be able to stop unwanted behaviors. Without punishment, you're not going to be able to proof a wanted known command without a consequence. So you can use anything from a pet convincer, which is air. You can use a bonker, which is a towel. You can use a remote collar. You can use a leash and a, and a collar. We prefer prong collars, a leash and a prong. There's, but what, you're, what punishment is not is this. You're not yelling at your dog. You're not screaming at your dog. You're not angry at your dog. You're not, you don't have to get physical with your dog. You're not putting your dog in a timeout. Like those aren't punishments. The dog doesn't understand that. With us, a punishment should last one second. That's it, it's done. Now let's move on. That's how we look at punishments. So our rewards are yes with something nice and our punishments are no with something that the dog doesn't like. So that's my tip of the day. I can get into way more details as we do for the last 10 years about like different ways to punish, but I just wanted to throw that out there as a tip. Jeff Gelman of Solid Canine Training with my What Would Jeff Do? Dog Training Tip of the Day. Tip number 33. Madly in love with you. I'll talk to you tomorrow.